So, I do have some commentary. Oh my God. I'm amazed that I have to talk about this. Right now, there's a controversy over a Native American who walked up to a kid who was waiting for a bus. And uh, I won't go through all this. You may have seen the stuff. And uh, a Native American guy walks up to him and starts pounding a drum at him. And there's been all of this controversy about the kid because he's wearing a MAGA hat. And, oh, God, do the press hate the MAGA hats, right? So they've been coming down on this kid. The thing is, if you watch the full footage and not just a little tiny piece that they show you, you discover that this kid was damned near accosted by this guy. And I'm not going to give their names. I'm not going to give their names here because I don't want the teenager doxxed. On Twitter, they're already trying to get him doxxed. They probably have, have succeeded. There's one thread that I watched today. Because as a result of this, I've been pushing one of my videos. And I know I have at least one new subscriber because of it. And that video is now moving up to about 100. It's about to top the 100 mark because of the pushing I did it today. Because, and now that may sound like a nothing to you, but I'm telling you 100 views on one of my videos is roughly double than most of the other things I get. Some of them are even down in the teens or less. So for me to get 100 views is great. Um, these idiots, you know, thought so many of these ignorant activists are in the process of destroying people's lives. There was one thread that I read that was the sister of one of these kids, and she had her um, wedding like the day after it happened. And all that happened was constant phone calls, constant death threats. You know, they're doxing these people for no reason. The whole thing is entirely baseless. And I won't go into specifics because... I don't want to have that argument. I don't want to have that argument. I know it was baseless. I watched it. All of this is baseless. All of these people who are trying to dox these poor teenaged kids, you're scumbags. I just want you to know that. What I suggest you do, because the secondary motto of this show that scrolls past in my lower third is, nothing you see in the press is real. Nothing. The press is entirely behind how bad this is getting. Some of them have retracted it, but who cares? Who cares? They're not retracting it with the same level of passion that they put it out in the first place, so nobody's seeing it. You know, that's how the press works. If they're going to retract something, they do it very quietly. So if you want to see, if you want to see, I would ask you, frankly, to push that video that I've called, nothing you see in the press is real, nothing, because... That tells you everything that you need to know about why this is happening. Uh, you know, it's not my most popular. It's my most popular video now. And I would, put, I would ask you to push it because nothing that you see in the press is real. Nothing. And, you know, I want to push it for a damn good reason. Because in that video, I walk through my methods of debunking any press story whatsoever. Because literally none of it is factually accurate. Even if they're talking, doing a story about getting a cat out of the tree two blocks down from you, trust me, they fracked up the, 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 uh, the facts somewhere. They are incompetent at best. Um, again, I'd ask you to promote the video on social media. I did it for several hours today because I think it's important to get the word out. I have been debunking the press for about 30 years now. I can now debunk almost any story inside a half hour. I can prove one of three things. It never happened. It didn't happen the way it was reported. Or if you strip off all the emotionally loaded language and propaganda, outright propaganda, I hate when the president uses fake news. It's not fake news. It's outright propaganda. And when you strip it all out, the facts devolve to a few sentences at best. Uh, Larry, uh, Supercruise 63 says the press is the main reason we have so much division in this country. I am firmly convinced at this point that the press is actively agitating for a civil war. And I have a video. I haven't recorded it yet, but I've got it written down and it's just waiting. I have been for months this close 
to dropping a video. And I'll tell you what it says in brief. Pre if we're preparing for civil war, the people in my part of the country who make the food for the world and for everyone, stop feeding them. Turn off the spigot until both combatants put down their weapons and go home. Starve them out. And that means, if it means letting the cities burn, if it means people dying because they don't need food or water, fine. Because that's a better, op better option than a civil war. A civil war would kill far more people. And I have it all written out. It will be dropping. If we get that close, it's going to drop. And I think they're, they're actively agitating for it. Because nothing you see in the press is real. These are modern press, are the intellectual heirs of William Randolph Hearst. And if you don't know who he is, go Google him, go look him up on Wikipedia. He is a man. He was the, one of the first media magnets in the late 18th century, 19th century, early 20th, and was in some measure responsible for starting the Spanish-American War. He was a propagandist of the lowest order, and today's journalists are no better. They have never been any better. They are his intellectual heirs. You need to judge events based on what you have personally witnessed. Literally, everything else that you see out of your press, assume it to be wrong, because it is. Nothing that you see in the press is real. Absolutely nothing. And they are, in my opinion, agitating actively for a civil war. And what bugged me too about it, right, is they're going all ape crap about this guy who's a Native American and how he's a Cossin and all that. Some of the stuff I put out on social media, and it's only Twitter. I hate using Twitter. I only use Twitter for marketing purposes. That's why I was pushing this video. I would find anybody who was either negative about it or positive about it, and I would put it in, and I just said, I would beg you to watch this video because I have been debunking these guys for 30 years, and I'm going to show you in this video how it's done. And that's got how I got 100 views on it and an additional subscriber or two to my channel. What bugs me about this is if you really cared about Native Americans and how they are treated, you would give a crap about this. I've said this before. I've had it up before. This is modern day life on the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation. Everything you see in here is real. These people are absolutely poor. They, it is a national disgrace that this is allowed to continue and has for a hundred years. Every four years, some presidential candidate wanders down there, mouths words about how they're going to make it better, and then they leave and they're never seen again. And they know it. It's been going on for a hundred years. They know it. I've said before, you know, that baby that you see there, that baby is being bathed in a tub that has been used for a million every per other purposes. The garbage you see out there is not because they can't, be, uh, they can't be bothered to pick it up. It's because all of that stuff is going to be used, reused, reused, and reused over generations. And they can't afford to get rid of it. And that outhouse is real. They use outhouses. They live in tin shanties. They live sometimes in old mobile homes that don't have any insulation in the 110 degree heat that they get during the summer and the negative 20 degree uh, wind chill with two feet of snow that they get in the winter. If you are worried about Native Americans, don't worry about this guy who's bound, go up around at the Capitol pounding a drum. Worry about these people, you know. If, if you don't, if you don't, if you don't care about these guys, then you just don't care. You are virtue signaling. And that is all. <sighs> Nothing you see in the press is real. Nothing. Nothing whatsoever. Again, if they're doing a story about getting a cat out of a tree two blocks down, trust me, they fracked up the, the facts somewhere along the line. They are either lazy or in the case of like Donald Trump, they are intentionally, intentionally attempting to agitate for civil war.
And if you guys do that, if you make it, it's going to make it my freaking mission to get the people in my part of the country to turn off the spigot and let you starve. It'll only take four days. It'll only take four days. I've gone without food for four days. The third day, you start to feel kind of sick. The fourth day, you start to feel kind of desperate. You'd see food riots and flames in the cities. It'll make it, I will make it my mission for that to happen. Nothing you see in the press is real. Do not believe it. Do not allow them to agitate this country into a civil war. Civil war would be bad for everybody, which is why starving out the cities would be a much better alternative. Ultimate power in this world has always been one simple thing, the control and manipulation of minds.